snow fly to the camera too. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's upload, it's all about the Raptor and the way that it sounds. Ford is attempting to make the three and a half liter equal sound good. So we're gonna see if they've actually uh, succeeded. But first off, check this out. No tint. Which is why you've made it to blackout tinting, of course. The only people I let touch my vehicles nowadays because they're the best. So we're gonna do some tint matcher real quick. What's up, Josh? What's up? How you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> You're covered in snow. I was the You're such a good the sport, so thanks, dude. <laughs> So it literally takes about 15 minutes, but now at least we got perfect uh, tint to match here on the front and the rear windows. Thanks once again to Blackout Tinting. I'm gonna pound it out on my uh, hand that's not bleeding. <laughs> Check these guys out on Instagram and YouTube. Their channel is awesome. They're the best in the business. I'll link their stuff in the description. Thanks again, dude. Thank you. The first generation of the Ford Raptor had a 6.2 liter V8, and that truck's sound definitely matched the way that it looked. Now, when the second generation Raptor came out in 2017, in my opinion, the best looking Raptor yet, it definitely did not have a sound that matched the way that it looked. The second gen Raptor got the high output three and a half liter EcoBoost 450 horsepower and 510 pound feet of torque, and everyone was complaining about the way that the truck sounds. How could they put a six cylinder in the Raptor? Now we have the third gen that just came out. It has the same engine as the second gen, but Ford has tried to fix this sound issue that everyone was complaining about. So for the third generation Ford Raptor, we have four different exhaust modes and you toggle through these exhaust modes with this button right here on the steering wheel. So before we do a sound comparison and we actually make a sound decision on whether this truck sounds good or just better than the second gen, we're gonna go see our buddy Brian at his shop and we're gonna get it up in the air because Ford has done a lot of stuff underneath to make it sound all right, so we're here at Brian's shop. What's up, buddy? Good to Hello. see you again. You too. So we got it up in the air here, but check this out. So obviously the exhaust goes all the way in there. We've got the cats, but there's several exhaust pipes here. And look at this little loop-de-loop -loop around, which is pretty freaking interesting. Oh, geez. Yeah, I know. Look at this loop-de <laughs> thing we got here. That's crazy. And then we got a pretty big resonator or muffler yeah, there. Muffler. Yeah, it's huge. yeah, so here at the muffler, we've got three pipes coming out of the muffler here. And then up here is the actuator for the actual valves. So it looks pretty freaking complicated to be honest with you. But this is what Ford has done to try to improve the sound of the three and a half liter EcoBoost in the Raptor. What they've managed to do actually, and we're gonna demonstrate there here in just a minute, they, they've made it sound almost like a Nissan GTR. That's why I saw you post that, but it does sound cool, but it's not it sounds amazing. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, this let, is a lot of Restriction, I would think. Uh, yeah, it is restriction. But one thing that I've learned with these Raptors is you leave the exhaust alone. It's the one vehicle on my channel that I've never touched know, exhaust by. Because loud is not always good. Some loud is just a louder version of bad. All right, so we've seen the underneath. We've seen the engineering of the exhaust and all the pipes and the loops. And it actually looked kind of weird. And that muffler is huge. But at least Ford has, uh, you know, made the attempt to improve the sound of the EcoBoost Raptor here. And we have this button as we mentioned earlier. So four different exhaust modes. We're gonna start here in quiet. So yeah, I mean, speaks for itself. This is supposed to be the most quiet uh, mode. Now you guys let me know if you can hear a noticeable difference when we uh, go through the different uh, exhaust modes here because I honestly this is normal 
I, I don't hear that much of a difference. We'll go to sport. Here is where we get a little bit at least. Not really on revving, but you do hear a difference when you're out driving on the road. And then when you go to Baja mode, the truck will warn you of off-road use only. See, man, I don't really get that. What, what does off-road use have to do with the exhaust modes or the exhaust valves? And you still don't really hear a difference. Wait a little bit, it might take a second or two for the valve to like open the actuators to get working, but yeah, I mean, so while doing some revving, like I said, I don't really feel like I hear a difference at all. Whether, you know, it's in normal or quiet or in Baja mode, you know, slash sport, which I think is pretty much the same. But we'll, we'll take it for a little drive here. We're going to go from Baja to quiet. Yeah, I did notice a difference there for sure that it closed the valves. So from Baja to quiet, you could definitely, you know, no, notice a difference that the valves were actually closing. So this is quiet mode. Now, once you get up in the RPMs, it, it sounds like the valves automatically open. Put it in normal mode. I mean, is it louder? I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe a teeny, teeny, weeny bit. Put it in sport mode. Yeah, once you get up in the RPMs, I, it's not much of a difference at all. I feel like the valves open in each mode if you're really getting on it. All right, and then Baja mode. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, <laughs> I think you guys know, you know, my opinion or what I think. But you, you guys make up your own mind from you know the, the footage you've gotten here. We're gonna do two flybys as well. We'll do one in quiet mode, and then we'll do one in sport or Baja, uh, and we, we should be able to hear a difference. So there it is, the Gen 3 Raptor, and it's uh, improved sound over the Gen 2. Ford now has four different exhaust modes, although it's not a gigantic difference, at least not from quiet to normal. Uh, now once you hit sport, yes, you can hear a difference. It's not really that much of a difference from sport to up to Baja either, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think of the Gen 3 Raptor and its sound. Uh, one thing that we can definitely say is that the tone has changed. So it actually sounds a little bit like a Nissan GTR. So if you're a GTR fanboy and you like that sound, um, get a Raptor. But I, I think to wrap it up here, the moral of the story, uh, it's still an EcoBoost and I commend Ford for trying to improve uh, the sound. And they obviously did that because pretty much, or at least 
of people that heard the sound of the EcoBoost complained and they listen they try to do something about it uh, at least we'll have to wait until the Raptor R comes out I'm sure that's gonna sound absolutely fantastic but in my book an EcoBoost Raptor still sounds like garbage compared to a V8 oh, bonus clip I guess we bought ourselves a JDM car. I mean, JDM truck.